If you think the answer is 1, you're absolutely wrong. Yeah, I know, this one looks simple at first glance. The problem says 16 divided by 2, open parenthesis, 1 plus 3, close parenthesis, 2. And almost everyone rushes through it. They go, okay, inside the parenthesis, 1 plus 3 is 4. Then 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. So 16 divided by 16 equals 1. Done, right? Nope, that's where everyone gets tricked. Let's slow down and actually see what's happening here. And hey, my friend, only 0.5% of people who watch my videos actually subscribe, and I'm really trying hard to reach my first 1,000 subscribers. So if you're enjoying these little math mind games, please consider subscribing. It really helps a lot. Okay, now let's get back to this confusing problem. So the key to this problem lies in understanding PEMDAS. That's parenthesis, exponents, multiplication and division from left to right, and addition and subtraction from left to right. Now here's the catch. Multiplication and division have equal priority. You don't always multiply first. You simply move left to right through them. Let's carefully go step by step. We start with 16 divided by 2, open parenthesis, 1 plus 3, close parenthesis, 2. Step 1, parenthesis first. Inside that, we have 1 plus 3, which equals 4. Now the expression becomes 16 divided by 2, open parenthesis, 4, close parenthesis, 2. Here's where people usually mess up. The term 2, open parenthesis, 4, close parenthesis, doesn't mean it's inside the parenthesis. It just means 2 times 4. So now rewrite it clearly as 16 divided by 2 times 4 times 2. Now following PEMDAS, left to right, we first do 16 divided by 2, which is 8. Then we have 8 times 4 times 2. 8 times 4 is 32, and 32 times 2 is 64. So the correct answer is 64, not 1. Surprising, right? That tiny left-to-right detail completely flips the answer. If you don't believe it, try typing it exactly like that into your calculator. 16 divided by 2, open parenthesis, 1 plus 3, close parenthesis, 2, and you'll see it gives 64. And if you still have doubts or want to argue your logic, drop it down in the comments. I love reading your reasoning. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Tricky Math Challenge.